What is up, YouTubers, tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the mobile workbench. I'm at work on the road, but I still want to bring y'all my reviews. I got three roll gear screwdrivers that were sent to me. Two you've probably seen before on YouTube, but this last one I've never seen. Couldn't even find it on Amazon. Had to talk to the roll gear people directly just to figure out where you could find this thing. I'm going to talk about each one for about two to three minutes a piece and save the best one, I think, for last. Here we go. All right, so let's get this thing kicked off with the first one. You've seen this in other videos. I've seen this around uh, YouTube. Easy to find on Amazon. This retails for around, I think it's about 25 bucks. I'll pop up a picture. But it's the Roll Gear Gearless 15 in 1 ratcheting screwdriver. Uh, this screwdriver I actually took to work while I was still an industrial electrician. I wanted to really use it before I told y'all what I think of it. And uh, I think this is a quality screwdriver for $25. You're not going to find a better quality screwdriver than this. The bits, which mainly I used a flathead bit, uh, still in great shape. It's not blowed out or anything like that. <clears throat> and I deal with a lot of seized up bolts. But uh, as you can see, completely gearless. Now why do you want that gearless? Well, because if you've only got a little bit of room... To move this thing it will keep moving and that's the whole reason you got a ratcheting screwdriver i think because i'm not a fan of ratcheting screwdrivers i'll be honest with you but when you're in a tight spot when you need a ratcheting screwdriver it's damn nice to have one and this is the one i would go because if you're in a tight spot you don't want to have to click all the way back to the next one now let's look at all the bits they give you all right, guys, we got all of our bits laid out here. We got seven double-ended bits, which makes 14, and then you got a quarter-inch nut driver on the top. You got a 3 16 flat and a quarter-inch flat. You got a Robertson number two and a Robertson number three, Robertson number one, and a T25. A number two Phillips, the most common screw, I'd say, and a number three Phillips. They even give you a number one Phillips and a T20. A little bitty T10 right there, and a uh, T15. And then, of course, a number zero Phillips, and a number zero Roberts. All right, guys, I got it back together, so let's talk about it. Do I like the screwdriver? At first, I'll tell you what, when I first got it, I was kind of like, Ugh, this is what all the fuss is about. But then I started using it, and I started using it a lot. I kept this in my side pocket. This replaced my Klein 11 in one for about a month and a half while I was still on the job as an industrial electrician. Uh, some of the features I really liked was that you can keep it held in place, which you can on most ratcheting screwdrivers, but then it's a real easy click over to get it to loosen, two clicks over to get it to tighten. And I mean, Whenever I was going to break a bolt, of course, I kept it stiff or in the lock mode. And, I mean, I put some torque on this thing. I was trying to break it. Uh, because I just, I've never had a gearless mechanism before. And I'm still not quite sure how they work. I know there's videos on YouTube. They'll explain it a lot better than I can. Look them up. How does a gearless ratcheting screwdriver work? I couldn't break this thing. I mean, I had some bolts that were completely seized up. And uh, the, the, the bits didn't cam out. Uh, it worked great. Uh, it is held in with a magnet. A very strong magnet. You're not going to... I mean, unless you hit it with a hammer, it's not coming out. And then to get the next bit, you take the old bit that you had. You push the new bit out. And look how it kind of just stays there for you. Even if you tilt it, you see how it's held on there? Because they got little bitty magnets on each side. In my opinion, this is a quality, quality screwdriver. 
especially when you think it's only $25. And uh, you're not going to find a ratcheting screwdriver for much less, and you will not find a, a ratcheting screwdriver uh, of this quality. And of course, it's made by our friends to the north up in Canada. All right, let's take a look at the next one I got. Um, eight inch multi-bit screwdriver. Uh, it's got all the features that this one has, except for it doesn't hold the bits in the end, which is kind of nice. It feels a little better in the hand than this one did being so bulky, but you give away the fact that you can't carry all your bits with you in the screwdriver. So it depends on, on your application. If you're on the field and you want to keep less tools with you, this is the way to go. If you're in a shop or a garage area and you're, all your tools are just a toolbox away, this might be the one you want. They also make this one in a smaller shaft. I asked for the long one because I didn't have any of these long shaft screwdrivers. Uh, it is ratcheting, gearless ratchet, just like the other one. Uh, they do send you all the bits with it. This had every single bit that this one had in a smaller bit and the longer bits. So, if you're like me and you're an electrician and this big area will stop you from getting into a breaker, you've got a nice two inch long bit that'll help you get back in there. And the fact that this is longer helps you keep your arms and your hands out of that breaker panel. Now granted, I wouldn't work in a live breaker panel with this because it's not insulated. Well, let me put that again. I wouldn't suggest that you work in a live breaker panel with this because it's not insulated. <laughs> uh, but this is a great quality screwdriver. Again, use this at work a little bit, not as much as this one, but it's made to the same quality. Made again in our friends to the north, Canada. And uh, it's a great quality screwdriver. It is great to have in your tool bag because when you need a long reach like that, I mean, you gotta have it. There's nothing else that'll do. Uh, very strong magnet, just like the other one. I know that's all fuzzy, but that was me shaking it pretty hard. So unless you go to hit this thing on the back end with a hammer, which you shouldn't do with a screwdriver like this, the bit ain't coming out. All right, guys, well, that does it. I mean, these are two great screw... Wait a minute. Didn't I say I was saving the best for last? And you're right. We got this one down here, just sitting here saying, Hey, don't forget about me. I need a review, too. No problem, little dude. Let's bring you out. This is Roll Gear's single bladed ratcheting screwdriver. Now, the one they sent me happened to be a flathead, and they call it a number four. It's equivalent to a quarter inch flathead. Uh, now, this, you can't find these on Amazon. They are not on there at all. I searched, I searched, I searched, couldn't find them. They are on the Roll Gear website, and that's where you have to go. This one is lightweight, still has the ratcheting mechanism in a regular size screwdriver form. It feels good in the hand. It, it's it got a great tip on it. You're not gonna wear this tip out anytime soon. I mean, it's just a great quality screwdriver. I didn't know that they even made anything like this and you're not gonna find them on Amazon. Now, the downfall? They're kind of expensive for a single screwdriver. You're looking at anywhere between 10 and 15 bucks for a single screwdriver, but it's got that gearless ratchet. It's got the little, uh, oh man, I don't know what you call this. I will as soon as I stop the video though, but you can put a wrench on that if you need some extra torque. Now again, I say, if you're gonna put, be putting a lot of torque, put it in the locking mode. <clears throat> but they sell these in six inch and four inch. I didn't see these in Torx Drive on their website. I saw them in, court, in Flathead, Phillips, and Square, in all the sizes, shapes, and colors you want. Uh, now they only have so many in the four inch, and then if you go to the six inch versions, they have different selections for the heads. But 10 to $15 a piece, little pricey for a screwdriver but if you got a screwdriver you use constantly let's say a number two robertson on breakers and uh you decide you want that ratcheting feature 
in a small package, this is the way to go. Now, like I said, I haven't seen any reviews on these before. I think it's a great quality screwdriver. Roll Gear makes a good product. I have fell in love with the single bladed ratcheting screwdriver because I'm gonna tell you why, and this is just me, but maybe you're the same way. I don't like these multi-bit ones because they're so big and they're heavy, right? I don't like these ones because I don't, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not in a shop, so I can't carry a bunch of bits around with me. I plan on actually buying with my own money a few more of them because I like them so much. Now, am I going to get a whole set of screwdrivers like this? Shit. If I had the money, I would. I think they give you the best of every world. Uh, they feel lightweight, but don't let that deceive you. These things can take some torque. Now, I'm not going to be hitting them on a hammer. This is not a beater screwdriver. But it's a great quality screwdriver in a, uh, in a small package. All right, guys. So just to put a, an in, to, in conclusion to wrap everything up, this one, if you're looking for uh, being able to carry a lot of bits with you in a, in a fairly small but heavy package, this is the one for you. It runs around 25 bucks. It can be found on Amazon. 15 bits in one little package. That's the great side. The downside, the handle's kind of big and it's kind of heavy. If you got a toolbox near you or you don't have to carry everything with you all the time, this one in the 8 inch or the 6 inch version would be the one for you. Uh, it gives you that great gearless ratcheting mechanism. You have your bits nearby to where you can just pop whatever one you want in boom so if you can keep your bits with you i'd go with this one it's lighter weight the handle feels better because it ain't got all these bits in it but again you're not going to be as mobile with this one and then if you've got the money uh to spend i'd say go with one of these types uh like i said the only killer is they're expensive this was more around the five to seven dollar mark they'd probably get more of a, a better review from you. To have a regular screwdriver with the gearless uh, mechanism or the ratcheting mechanism whenever you want it, it's pretty damn nice. Because if you're like me, you won't use it all the time, but man, it would be nice to have it if it was there. And it's real nice if it's in a regular screwdriver pack. All right guys, so we're gonna wrap this up. As always, please hit that like button and go down below this video, not this actual subscribe button, but there's one down there that looks just like it. Hit that subscribe button, help Brad's workbench grow into the massive empire it will someday be. Or a thousand subscribers would be cool. Because you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Facebook. Those two channels don't really have reviews, but you'll see, it's like things I just want the world to know or people to know or things I come across in my daily life that I just take a quick picture of. So if you like that kind of stuff, if you like to maybe see my projects as they happen, and then you'll see a summation video on YouTube eventually. Facebook, Instagram is the place for you. All right, guys. Till next time. I'll at y'all later. Peace.